welcome back. Here we are, ready to start lesson two, and we're going to learn a new technique uh, after you've done the TMB. Now, if you hadn't seen the earlier part of the program, let me tell you, tell you what TMB means. T is, stands for top row, M stands for the middle row, and B stands for the bottom row of these three blocks. Now, we have rows, columns, and blocks. It's as simple as that, and uh, it's the way we really start off is to go through these steps. First of all, we'll do TMB. And in that last lesson, we showed you how to do TMB there. They also did it there. We also did it there. And on this puzzle, we actually have already uh, done TMB. And as a result, we've got these red numbers. Now, let's say we've gone through TMB, this one, then we did these three, then we did these three. And now we go to step number two, which is called LCR, stands for left column, center column, and right column. Similarly, of these three blocks, we have the left column, the center column, and the right column. And similarly, over here. And we have a system to show you how to do that technique. Let's look at the lesson two now. The left, center, and right. It's called LCR. Left, center, and right. What do I mean by that? In the, we, these are vertical columns. And they have a left row, a column, a center column, and a right column. Similarly here, a left column, center, right, Co right column, same over here. And we're going to do it this way. Watch how I do it. Once again, we'll start with ones and go up to nine. Let's take the ones. We have one on the left, one on the center, and one on the right. Done. Fixed. Don't worry about it. Two. There's only one two in these three blocks. Threes. Well, we have two threes. We have a three in the center. We have a three on the left. Therefore, the three has to be over on the right in this block. And it, there's only one place for it to go, so it replaces that four. And this is the neat thing when you put two little numbers in. Once you've done that, you know that that has to be a four, because we figured out that that's the only two places a four could go. What about fours? Well, we have two fours now. We have a four here, center, a four on the left. So therefore, up in here, a four has to be on the right. Well, there's only one place for a four can go. If I put it there and there... That won't work, will it? So we will rub that one out because there's a four over there. So this becomes the four. OK, pushing right along, fives. We've only got one five. Don't worry, move on. Sixes, we've got our sixes. Well, look at this, we have a right, a left, and a center. Uh, sevens, we've got our sevens, fantastic. What I wanted to point out to you is this word up here. See that word, ram? When we do the vertical, we look to see if whatever number we put in, what does that lead to in terms of another number? And let me show you something here. Um, let me see, what did, new numbers did we put in? We put in a 9. That didn't have any effect because we've got all our 9s there now. The 4. Oh, this 4 had a ramification. Look, if you look across here, that 4 means that you've got a 4 in the middle here now. Four, 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 because top, middle, and bottom. Now that four is very valuable, just because we looked at for ram. Now we did. Did I put a new three in? Did that help us at all? No, it didn't. What is another new number that I put in? I put in a three here. We've got that number, but that didn't have any ramifications. Fours, and that four finished up these three fours. So we're we're doing all right. Let's take the five. We didn't have anything with five. Sixes, we did the sixes. Sevens, sevens are done. Nines, this is interesting. Look at this. Here is a, here's a left. There's a right. This block doesn't have a nine. And it therefore has to be in the center. So it will go there. OK, pushing right along. Now we'll do these three vertical blocks and include ram as well. Let's take the ones. Well, here's a one in the center. Here's the one in the right. Whatever goes in this block has to be on the left. And we could put it there, 
or we could put it there. But guess what? We look over here and there's a one already there. So that cancels out that one. This becomes the one. And now let's look at the ramification of that one. We have now two ones in this horizontal section. One, one, a bottom and a top. Therefore, there's got to be a one over here in these two little ones. Now let's look, at, look down, same, same principle, you look down, oh, there's a one here. So that cancels out this one, and therefore this one becomes the one. Was that ever neat, seeing the ramification of that? You know, sometimes you can go right around the whole puzzle filling in numbers just because of ramification. Knowing, using the uh, top, middle, bottom, and LCR, left, center, right system. I have just noticed something, and that is in this row, we've only got one cell left. Why not fill it in? What would it be? Let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five. There's no, no five, so we'll put a five there. And now that block has only got one left in it. What number would that be? One, two, three. Three is missing. Now, want any ramifications of that one? Yes, look at the ramifications of this one. Uh, bottom, middle, this has to be a three. Wow. What a difference it makes when you do look for ramifications. Now, well, I was up to doing down here. We got up to two. We, we have two. We have a, this block has got a two. We're going, continuing on with the vertical, vertical uh, blocks. This one's got a two. This one's got a two. That's a left. That's a right. That's a center. This one has to be on the left, and there's two little ones. I look this way and this way. There's no other twos. Leave them small for the time being. Threes. Well... Here's a three, and there's a three. A right, a left, therefore it has to be in the center. So this becomes a three. Now, is there any, any ramifications of that? No, there isn't, because we now got all the threes across. Fantastic. Fours. Fours are done. We have a center, a left, and a right. Fives. We have one five. That doesn't help us. Sixes. We have a, a, a center, a right, and a left. We're done. Sevens. We have, well, we have a center, a left, so this one has to have it on the right. Left, center, right. That's the only place it can go. Okay, now what's the ramification of doing that? Well, here is a, here is a middle, there's a top. This one has to be on the bottom, so it goes there. Any ramifications of that? No, all these sevens are done now. Okay, let's do eights in these three blocks. There's only one eight, so we push on to nines. Nines in these three blocks, we have only one nine, so leave it. Now we'll go and do vertical blocks on these three going down. Let's take the ones. Ones and we got a right, we got a left, we got a center. We're set. Twos. We've got one, two here, and that's all. Leave it. Threes. Now I know some of you are going to say, "Well, oh, I can see how you put another number in." Don't worry. Those steps are going to come later in the course. Okay. Um, center, a right, and a left. They're done. Four. Right, left, center. Done. Fives. We have one five here. That cancels out this five. So this becomes a five. Okay, and that works out. You can always check yourself. Look, left, center, right. Yes, we did it right. Okay. Um, sixes. Six, we have a six here, a six here, and a six there. We have a, a center, a left, and a right. We're, we're doing fine. Uh, eight, sevens. We're done with the sevens here. Done. Eights. We have two eights. We have two eights. We have a center. And we have a left. This block has a left. This block has a center. Therefore, this block has to have it on the right, so that becomes an eight. Now, what does that mean? We've now got this block that's only got one number left. We can work out what that is very quickly by going one, two, three. Oh, it's a two. Didn't even get to nine. Okay. Now, once we've got that two in, we look for the ramifications. We have a right, we have a center, and this has got to be on the left, so that's the only place it can go. Now, what's the ramification of putting that there? 
Well, that means it cancels out this two. So that two's gone. Therefore, that becomes the big two. You see how that works? The ramification can just be so powerful. You get so many numbers, little numbers and big numbers. Now I look at this block here. I notice that there's only one cell left. Let's count up, find out what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. Now to check ourselves, we have a center, a right, and a left. We done it right. We. Okay. Now we're at the stage where we're going to be looking for um, blocks and rows and so on that have maybe only got one left, one cell left. Well, here's a, here's a, a column that's only got one left, and the number missing is one, two, three, four. Uh, there's no five, so the five goes in there. Fantastic. Okay, now we have a block here that only has one left in it. Let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has to be a nine. We can double check ourselves by going bottom, middle, top. Now this row here only has one left in it. Let's count up, find out what it is. One, two, three, four. It's a five that's missing. And now we've got this column with only one number left. And guess what it's going to be? It's got to be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We've got a nine there. So that becomes the eight. So we no, that no longer is an eight. But that block here has only got one cell left. It is a two, I believe. One, two. Yes, there's two missing in there. Now, what's the ramification of that? Anything? Let's find out. Look, here is something that I hadn't noticed before because this is, happens a lot with ramification. You've missed it. When I put that two in, I didn't look this way. And look, we have a two and a two. Therefore, this becomes a two because it's a top, a middle, and a bottom. Well, that was fun. Now we know how to go down the blocks like this using left, center, and right. Did you notice I missed some ramifications? I call it ram for short. And it's easy to do. It's very easy to miss things. But we've got a system whereby if you miss something, you'll catch it later. Now, some questions have come in. My sweetie suggested I talk to you about books. Yeah. You can buy many books. There's many types of them out there with Sudoku puzzles in them. I use them all the time. But here's a suggestion. Some of the books will say they're easy, and yet they're not. It depends on how many techniques you know. Some of them, uh, books will show the puzzles that are, uh, that are difficult, and yet they're easy. It's not, not, not common to come across uh, that problem. Be prepared for that. When you do buy a book, my suggestion is don't buy the cheapest, but buy a book that's got one puzzle per page. Because if you've got a lot of little numbers, it's very hard to do puzzles. It gets very messy if you've got several puzzles on one page. So that's it for today. So we'll say goodbye for the time being, and hopefully we'll see you in our next session. Bye for now.